Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial that uh, will show how to use Look at My Hair with iRay. I am using my new Wolf model under production. Uh, it's not complete but it will do and uh, this procedure can be used with any other uh, model based on uh, Look at My Hair. Uh, first of all, I well, I loaded the model and uh, in my render setting I already have uh, uh, set the properties that I want for environment for the iRay render engine. So as you can see, I uh, am using a HDRI map for the winter forest and uh, of course I am using the finite sphere with ground mode I'm telling to draw the dome of course and uh, I have set the environment map uh, intensity to uh, 0 0.5 I also have enabled uh, the draw ground and uh, if I render this uh, keep in mind that uh, on this machine I'm doing a, an IRA uh, CPU render because this, uh, this Mac has got uh, an AMD graphic card so this is uh, my preliminary render of course the, f the wolf is naked now so we are going to add some look at my hair fur I'm going to cancel this render <coughs> And I set the wolf, I trigger the look at my hair pane. Uh, this procedure will work uh, uh, the same whether you have the, the full or the free uh, version of look at my hair. So I'm going to touch lamp reset. Uh, I'm going to pick the latest preset that I did. and uh, once it's loaded I'm going to apply a, a pose to the wolf alright so there it is so I'm going to my content library and I'm gonna get the promo pose that I did alright so uh, this should be this should do I'm going to position the camera a little bit more zoom in uh, all right this should be fine okay so now I am going to uh, click to OBJ this will produce uh, the full geometry for the wolf uh, four and this is going to take a uh, couple of minutes so I'm going to click this and pause and we will be back when uh, the food is loaded alright so uh, loading the or well better converting the look at my hair food to uh, geometry took about uh, six minutes and a half and uh, well it's uh, it's here on the viewport and um, I can hide the look at my hair uh, green guys that I don't need anymore it's better that you don't delete them uh, otherwise uh, the application may crash so you just hide them as you as I say again I really won't uh, understand what the render man guide uh, green guides are and uh, these two groups, Wolf Group 0 and Wolf Group 1, this is actually the geometry mesh for the fur that we just created. So here, if uh, I want to uh, move the camera or do other operations, it's better if I turn the draw mode for that studio. And uh, I will uh, select it to Solid Bounding Box. Uh, this is because it's uh, it makes much easier to move the camera. I'm 
going to perspective mode because I don't want to uh, touch my camera settings so you see now I can uh, I know that the wolf is uh, is here uh, this is the side where the head is and uh, I can eventually move the camera or position the scene as I like and I do this again because if I set the mode to texture or something else there is so much amount to be uh, displayed in the viewport that the whole interface will be uh, quite slow so I'm going to get to camera again <coughs> and uh, well at this point I can set the material properties for the geometry for the four alright so I'm going to select the wolf groups I'm going to surfaces I'm sorry for my English but it's a lo long time that I didn't speak and uh, I hope this is all understandable so here I'm going to get my the standard eye ray shader and it's uh, this one the eye ray uber base I'm going to apply it and uh, I just leave them as they come the only thing I perhaps want to uh, tune down a bit is the glossy reflectivity um, I'm gonna try with 0 0.1 and uh, well this is it uh, see that I have uh, added the spotlight this uh, is to give uh, uh, some light to the uh, shooting from the right through the wolf and uh, this light has, uh, let me see because I don't remember, well the intensity perhaps is uh, could be increased but I'll leave it like, like this now okay so now I'm going to shoot the render and uh, I'll get back as it's done right so this is uh, the render just uh, computing um, perhaps I would like to stop this and make uh, uh, the wolf a little bit brighter so I'm gonna cancel and uh, I think I'm going to add a second spotlight and maybe I'm going to check or I'm going to move it a little bit uh, more on the side of the wolf and maybe I'm going to increase the intensity now in this situation if you are unsure of what uh, uh, type of what kind of uh, effect uh, you are going to add uh, adding more lights or other stuff and uh, you, well you can always uh, hide the the four groups and uh, render just the the bear wolf with the dome and the the sky dome yes and so this will uh, uh, it's a quick way to check if all the camera settings and uh, also the lights are positioned and uh, set properly so maybe this is going to be a little bit brighter and I would say that's it I'm going to cancel I'm going to uh, unhide the, the full groups again and this time I'm going to render whole scene. So I'm going to pause and be back. 
all right so the render is completing and uh, well for my uh, expectations it it looks uh, reasonably good it took only well six minutes about to render um, of course uh, you could improve um, uh, the eye surface I didn't bother with uh, setting any glossy material etc but uh, well for the rest I, I think uh, it's a decent render and uh, it didn't take much effort to to set up the scene and uh, camera lighting etc so I guess it's uh, totally doable to render look at my hair uh, stuff with iRay and uh, you can use the same method with every uh, look at my hair based model that you have thanks for watching